Hello everybody and welcome back to the show. This is your captain speaking, Sapphire Satoshi, and in this one, Pokemon Emerald Playthrough Part 4. Pokemon Emerald Let's Play, where the real goal is just to enjoy Gen 3 and everything that the Hoenn region has to offer. Join us as we embark on a quest across the land of eternal trumpets. In the last episode, we faced off with Brawly and delivered the letter to Mr. Stone as per the request of the Devon Goods President, the Devon Corporation, whatever it's called. And now, speaking of the Devon Corporation, we are going to go and do something that I never did as a child because I wasn't aware of it, that you could do it this early on in the game even, the last few times I've played through the game. You can go get the XP share now, and uh, I know some people don't like the XP share, but in these older games I think it helps just the right amount to kind of make the game, uh, you know, move along a little more quicker, help train up a balanced team. We are back in the seaside cottage, probably one of the comfiest places in the entire Hoenn region. Let's just chill here for a little bit actually with these two. Just hang out. Alright, I will see you two later. Very shortly, actually, because we will need to get back to Slateport. But yeah, I'm gonna use the XP share. You can flame me if you want. I don't really care, but... I think it's pretty helpful in these older games to balance out your team and make the process a lot less, uh... tedious, I guess. But in the newer games, I definitely think the baked in XP share that levels up your entire team a crazy amount. And you get XP for catching Pokemon now. I think that uh, that all definitely helps iron out the difficulty of modern Pokemon games. But here the XP share fits us just right. Who is calling us? Oh, Roxanne. We are headed to Rustboro right now, actually. Hey, yeah, you, can't, you cannot beat me, Roxanne. You can't. I will rematch you. Can we rematch her right now? Or is that not till after the Elite Four? I'm not sure. That call makes me think I could rematch her now, but let's get this item that's back here. Back to Rustboro because we would like to meet with the president. Report to him of our good deeds that he may reward us with a little something. This is the only corporate office building I'll ever walk into. It's in a Pokemon game. Hello, Mr. Stone, Mr. President. Thank you. The XB share is ours. I don't think I'm going to equip it right now because nobody really needs it. Like I said, I'm really only uh, invested in Marsh Stomp and Slack Auth at this point. But I do have my mind thinking about some new members of the team since we are headed to Slateport now and we're going to get up in that area. Some of those new routes are going to open up to us with a lot more Gen 3 Pokemon that would fit on this team. So we're gonna go catch some new friends and decide if we want to add anyone to the team or not. Like I said, I don't really have a plan right now on how I want this team to look at the end of the game. Just going through the game and whatever mon I feel like, I'm just gonna throw in this team and start using. So right now it's Marsh Stomp and Slack Off. We'll see if we can get a third member. Let's head off back to the Seaside Cottage, one of my favorite places in the game. And then we will make haste for Slateport. Yes, you already know. Alright, let's go to Dewford first, and then we have to set sail for Slateport. Back to our pirate shenanigans. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. There we go, we're rolling right along through Route 106 into Duford's town, city, whatever we call it. Is it Duford Town? Yes, Duford Town. I almost called it Duford City, even though it was just on the screen when Mr. Briney said it. Yes, we would 
We would like to set sail for Slateport now, sir. Pico, raise up the anchor. Hoist the sails. Man the starport bow. Let's keep it moving. There's the abandoned ship. We will come back for that. Right through Route 109 in to the beaches of Hoenn. Beautiful beaches of Hoenn. Do these two have a battle? Nope. They're making a sandcastle. Thank you. Let's battle this sailor. Wingle. This guy's got a Pico of his own. Oh, I'm glad I missed. I do not like Supersonic. I don't like it when my Pokemon are confused. And he's got a Machop, too. Okay. Machop spray almost looks shiny in this game, since shiny Machop is, like, green. I don't know what shiny Machop looks at, like in the Gen 3 sprites, but it almost looks shiny to me. Since the chop is blue and it's shiny is like a weird green. GG's Sailor Huey. Alright. At the Umbrella Beach. Home is a boxcar and it's so out of reach. Hidden under Umbrella Beach. Another double battle to do. Let's go. Beating up children on the beach. The dynamic duo Captain Swamp and Wookie. Get that tentacle out of here. Cat and Swamp, putting in that work, level 21 already. Looking good, team is looking good. By the team, I mean just these two. Captain Swamp took out two enemies, and Wookie has yet to even take out one, but that's okay. We love him. And in classic Gen 3 style, we will get this hit after he switches out. There we go. GG, children. Inner tubing children on the beach. Getting more numbers in our Pokenab so we can rematch some trainers and get a potion. The water around these parts is clean, but I get my Zigzagoon to pick up a litter from the shoreline at all times. Dirty water becomes rain and joins our rivers, which we drink from. If we pollute the sea, it all comes back to haunt us eventually. He is not wrong, and he might not even be around to see when that happens, but he's spreading the right message. Let's battle this sailor, and there's a child under the, the umbrella as well. Why did that dude burp? Is he drinking a beer on the beach? Silla Edmund. Oh, Captain Swamp missed. 
Oh no, the Wingle is strategizing. Oh no, they're just lowering all of our stats. They're really playing the long game here. They're gonna sweep us. Alright, GG on that one. Wookie getting to level 16. Why is he making those weird noises? This is weird text. We have another trainer to battle over here. Just wielding one zigzagoon, okay. Nothing Captain Swamp can't handle. All right, Ricky Bobby. We will add you to the Pokenav. I think we already battled you, right? Yeah. Who else is there to battle out here? Is that all of them? That looks like all of them. I think there's trainers in here to battle as well. She's got a Goldeen. Oh no, that Tail Whip. Dangerous move. We actually might come back here when we have a third Pokemon to train up. This will be a good spot to do some training, so we're going to come back here and do the other battles once I get another Pokemon to add to the team, train up a little bit, put the XP share on someone. Comfy Lighthouse, let's hang out here for a minute. Comfy little boat over here. These are the details in the games that I love. Glad we're at Slateport. I love Slateport City. What does this gentleman have to say? The light of the lighthouse reaches dozens of miles away. I wonder if it doesn't startle Pokemon in the sea. Who knows? Maybe they're so used to it by now, or maybe they just think it's another Pokemon, but it's a good point. Yes, the market over here. I'm sure we will be coming back here at some point. Let's go ahead and deliver. Deliver what we have to deliver over here. Yes, we have the Devon goods. We have to find Captain Stern now, okay. Yeah, now we go to the museum first. Let's heal up the old team before we do anything too rash involving Team Aqua. Alright, the team is now all healed up and good. Let's go up here into Route 110. See if we can catch... Something for the team, maybe an Electrike. That'd be fine. A Wingle, I'll take a Wingle. Might put that on the team, use a Pelipper. Thing is, I already have water coverage on the team. But that could be my Flymon, but still. I think for now we'll use a Wingle, it's fine. We'll catch it. Evolve it. If we don't have another fly Pokemon by the time uh, we get to the gen, the sixth gym, when we get fly, we'll just we'll have a fly Pokemon at least. But I do already have some water coverage on this team. I love Pelipper though, the old toilet mouth bird. So there we go. It makes its nest on a sheer cliff at the edge of the sea. It has trouble keeping its wings flapping in flight. Instead, it soars on updrafts. 
That's cool. After the Land of Eternal Trumpets. So there we go, we might go pick up that Wingle, we'll see. Trumpets the Wingle. As an ode to all the trumpets in the Hoenn, re in the Hoenn region. Use a mine in. I don't think I'll use that, but we can catch it for the decks. There we go. Got a mine in for the decks. At a meeting of Pokemon academics, it was announced that simultaneous exposure to electricity from a Plusel and Minin will promote circulation and boost vitality. That's interesting. Let's see what other mons we get over here. I think you can catch Electrites over here, right? There's a Culpin. I'll catch that for the decks. Oh, that might take it out. I should have done that. That's gonna... Yeah. Whoops. Poison is weak to ground. Did not mean to do that. Yay, there's another. Oh no. <laughs> We are poisoned. Cancelled out his sleep, though. Are we still gonna go to sleep and the poison will go away? I don't know. Gonna use our great ball that the Devon people gave us. Putting it to good use. Catching a gulpin that we're probably not gonna have on the team. This Pokemon stomach fluid can even digest scrap iron. In one gulp, you can swallow something that is as large as itself. That is impressive, Gulpin. Very impressive. Oh, now we're poisoned, we gotta deal with all that. I'm trying to find an Electrike. Hey, here's an Oddish. That's a cool one. We haven't seen an Oddish yet. We will catch you for our Pokedex. Four times a week to absorb. Probably should have considered that before I did not switch out my Marsh Stomp. I didn't realize I've only got like one Pokeball, I think. We can't catch this. What am I doing? I don't want to use my Primer Ball on that. My Premier Ball, whatever it's called. Let's just take this Oddish out. I gotta go to the Mart and buy some more Pokeballs, I guess. Let's go do that. We need, yes, you have great balls. We will take those. 84, yeah, that's fine. We should actually probably buy a super potion. Just about two in the bag. Let's buy seven of them. Spend half our money on super potions. All right, we are more equipped now to catch Electrike. Yay, found an Electrike. Let's capture this. I want to use an Electrike on the team for sure. Get that electric type coverage. Hoenn is a stormy region, so we need a Pokemon that can control the lightning. Oh, didn't even shake, okay. Haha, <laughs> you can't paralyze us. The Great Ball is failing us. If I attack it again, it'll, it'll pass out, so I don't want to do that. Yay. 
it generates electricity using friction from the atmosphere. In seasons with especially arid air, its entire body blazes with violent showers of sparks. That is sick. Not really any other mons I wanted to catch over there, so let's move on. Let's equip the XP share though to uh where is it? Down there. Oh, don't use it. Gotta give it to a Pokemon. Let's go ahead and give it to Raijin over there. So it can start getting some levels up. And I also want to switch Wookie to the front since Captain Swamp's just been pulling all the way of the entire team. As the starter usually does when I play Pokemon games. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. Alright, Team Aqua is in the museum. How y'all doing? No, I don't remember you. Oh, thank you. I hope I never see you again, buddy. You need to leave Team Aqua behind. I will take your position. Who do I talk to around here about the open position? I know that some dude just deserted, y'all. Okay. Whoa, this dude didn't pay. Team Aqua exists for the good of all. Yes, let me join you. The boss ain't here yet. Hello, Captain Stern. Uh-oh, here we go. Best battle music. Let's yawn it. Carvana is sleepy sleep. What an eventful battle going on here, I know, right? Thank you so much for watching. Alright, there we go. Took out Carvana. Good job, Wookie. Raijin gets some of his experience points. And then we gotta battle the other one. Why not just do a double battle here? I don't understand, but that's okay. Uh oh, this guy's got two Pokemon. Slack off learns faint attack at level 19, it looks like. I did just look it up. But Slack off? What level does it evolve? Okay, it's gonna evolve here soon, level 18, anyways. GG Team Aqua taken out with just my slack off. He was slacking off the entire time. Oh no, there's Archie. <laughs> yes, I'm part of Team Magma. No, I want to join you. 
Where where can I apply? No, I understand. I want to catch Kyogre. I want to help you with that. No time to lose. Thank you for the heal up. Alright, and I believe now we can uh we can move up into the next route into Mavao City as well. Scott? Yeah, you're the guy who uh said I was a rookie trainer. I am just a rookie. Okay. Getting more numbers in the Pokenav. Some networking. I'll be seeing you, Scott. And now, since we can, uh, we can move up into this route, let's do it. Fight some of the trainers up here, and I really don't have any interest in fighting May yet. I think we will do that in the next episode. Professor Birch. All right, Professor, we will register you in the, in the nav for sure. If you got any more starters you want to give me, you know, like a Torchic or a Trico, that'd be great. They got plus Lona Mining. The dynamic duo. We also have our own dynamic duo over here. A mud shot, one of these. Helping hand. GG mining. Now he's got the other one. That's right, I forgot about this fight. I love this, like these themed fights like this. Beautiful, beautiful orchestration. Y'all are spending too much time helping each other. Trike already leveling up. Definitely want to do some more training up before this May fight, so we are going to do that fight her because this in my opinion is one of the most difficult rival battles in the series I mean maybe I'm just being a little dramatic but I got stomped by May in this battle specifically with her May with a Grove Isle too I remember the Grove Isle just destroying me with the pursuit and the leaf blade so it's gonna be a tough fight maybe it won't be as hard as I'm expecting but the fight traumatized me as a child so I really want to make sure I prepare for this this fight up here and have my mons properly leveled up. More Pokenav registrations. Beautiful. Here's the trick house. We may go do a few of these to meme around. Let's talk to Granny out here. Yeah, we gotta get a bike too, Granny. Alright, let's see what's up over here in Route 103. Just a few fights, I believe. So we're training up we can do before May. Oh, Leech Seed, that's annoying. Definitely don't want to put up with that for much longer. I think we'll just switch since Wookie is going to do his 
Do you know any flying type moves, Trumpets? I haven't even checked your summary. Nope, you don't even know Pack, okay. Switch out and do Electrike for the first time. Ooh, got that static. Alright, looks like this is gonna take a minute. There we go, we got the crit. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. Roselia, um. No, let's leave it in. There's a Gen 3 Pokemon. Ryzen's putting in that work. GG, Aroma Lady Daisy. Let's do some more of these battles. I got a double battle up over here to fight. The plus one mining duo again. All right. So a nine in. I love the song change. And I've got more registrations in the Pokenav. And another fight, literally two steps down the road. All right. Oh, Skitty. That's one we gotta catch. I love Skitty. Not a very good Pokemon, but I love the design. Double slap. Hitting four times. Quad slap. Wookie is loafing around as usual. Not enough. Let's go to Orenberry too. Wookie, you got this. Good job, Wookie. Hitting level 17. One more level and it will evolve into Vigoroth and that. Will be awesome. Hopefully, learning a new move shortly as well. Get to collect up some other TMs and whatnot, see what we can teach it, because the level up moves aren't that good. Miguel. We will call you Miguel. Look at this dude up here. He's, he's had a t few too many beers on his fishing trip today. Oh no, he's pissed because his fishing line is all screwed up. Okay, well, we'll upset him even more by winning in a Pokemon fight. Oh, buddy. I'm gonna have to teach you the same lesson I taught that other fisherman, is that if you stack your team with Magikarp, some young trainer's gonna come by and murk them all. Oh, a tentacle, we will switch out. Don't want to make this battle take too much time. You do not have a team of stacked Magikarp, but your Mons are weak. Eh, 
And your last Pokemon's a Magikarp. Okay. Two Magikarp and a Tentacool. Oh, level 15 Magikarp at least. Oh no, we missed. Hopefully that splash doesn't do too much to us. GG, Fisherman Andrew. Let's see what's going on with the rich boy over here. Shortcut to Old Dale Town. That is useful. Too bad I don't have Surf right now. And with that, we will cut it right here. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider checking out some of the other content on this channel, as well as the previous episodes of our Pokemon Emerald Let's Play if you haven't seen them already. We do appreciate your viewership, and we will see you in the next one, where we will fight May. See you next time.